Oh. oh shit. Isn't this cool? Look at this. It's a Farrington. This thing is like a Mustang on steroids. It's like a super beast Mustang. Ah. For those of y'all that don't know what a Farrington is, Kurt Cobain had one of these built by a guy named Danny Farrington back in 92, I think it was. So there was only one ever made, but Kurt used it as his studio recording guitar. I think he only played it like once live or I don't know. But I was really interested in building one because, you know, for studio tones, I'm obviously obsessed with Nirvana's studio tone. And if you're new to this channel, uh, I've been recreating guitar tones, mainly Nirvana, well, yes, just Nirvana tones for the past like year. And there was a couple songs I did a while back that I was just never really happy with the tone that I got. One of those songs was All Apologies. This Farrington is definitely the All Apologies guitar. It's uncanny. I thought it was the Jag, then the High Flyer and all this other stuff. Nah, it's this. The Bartolini pickups just have a very specific, unique kind of sound to them. Dumb. Dumb was also done with this guitar. And one that I haven't done yet, that now that I can do, because I can never get the tone right, was Penny Royalty. I'm on my time. This is definitely the Penny Royalty guitar as well. And there's even a scratch take of Penny Royalty where he had originally used the bridge and it was also this guitar. And I like that sound so much that I can like take it now and make my own weird stuff with it. So all the neck tones, mainly for In Utero, were done with this Farrington guitar. And Kurt said it was gonna be a studio recording guitar, and it makes sense, because there's so many options on this thing. For instance, with this down, we're in regular humbucker mode. Now we're in single coil mode. Now we're in parallel mode. And then we have these pickups here, and there's a five-way switch, so like you can do any combination of anything. It's just badass. It really is like a Mustang on steroids. You might have noticed I haven't painted it yet. And I'm going to, I just need to get around to doing it. I just got done building it. Like I built this whole thing myself, actually. The pit guard, I like drew it all on a thingy of MDF. It's my first time making a pit guard. It worked out really well. And so I drew it like on a thing of MDF and then I just used that as a routing template. But I still need to get that router bit that like bezels, bevel, whatever you call it, I don't know. Bevels the edges so I can get that nice line. Cause right now it's just like a hard edge, but those are all minor things. Okay, so I figured you're probably wondering what pickups are in the Farrington. So this is the V88D, and then these are two of the noiseless single coil pickups. And I really lucked out finding these. They're almost impossible to find. Bartolini, just in general, they're really hard to get pickups from. And all these were discontinued in here like over 20 years ago. So it's like kind of like a needle in a haystack trying to find these pickups. But don't let me discourage you. If there's a will, there's a way with most of this vintage here. What, Misha? Stop it. I'm in the middle of making a video. I have to play guitar. Okay, so what I figured I'll do really fast is just go through all the switches so you can hear the tonal differences. I'm gonna just play the same riff, but I'm gonna go through all the pickups and all the modes for the humbucker just so you can get an idea for how it sounds. All right, we'll start with the humbucker. Single coil mode. All right, parallel. Sounds cool. I think parallel is probably my favorite. Okay, here's the humbucker and the middle. Middle only. Middle 
and neck together. And lastly, the neck by itself. Actually, I probably shouldn't play that, it'll get flagged. What else can I play on the neck? By the way, I literally like just finished building this, so I haven't even intonated it yet. Cause I already know someone's gonna leave one of those like really smirky comments. Intonate your guitar, dude. Well, actually kind of, I like the sound of a guitar that's out of intonation. I kind of like like the drunk, messed up feeling of a guitar. It's a little more interesting to me. I kind of feel the same way about old pianos. I like like really old out of tune, shitty sounding pianos. What about you, Mish? Do you like old pianos? Desperately need coffee. That's what it's all about. So good. Another thing I forgot to mention. So the body on the Farrington is super duper thick. And Kurtz was too. And the reason for it is these Bartolini pickups are super, super thick. And also the Strat switch goes back really far. When I was routing this body out for the Strat area, I almost poked a hole out of the back. Like this body is literally just thick enough. But nonetheless, it's a super thick body. It's made of basswood. Oh, all right. Well, I guess this is a good uh, stopping point. Hope you guys dug the video. If you're new here, it's super awesome to meet you. And uh, yeah, lots of really cool stuff coming up. Lots of fun videos. We're gonna have some good times. All right, later.